Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. Very important news today. There are over $3 million, $10,000 grants still available for entrepreneurs, sole proprietors, small businesses across the US. Over $3 million still available, but that funding may end in about a week. So in this short video, I'll briefly bring you up to speed on the targeted EIDL grants, eligibility, how to find out if you're eligible, and who can still apply for these $10,000 grants. Even if you've already received your grant or you've been denied, watch this important video because there's still a way to get some money here. Also, if you support these daily videos and the research myself and our entire team does, hit subscribe, turn on the alerts. It really means so much to us and give this video a thumbs up because the main point here is that there are millions of grants available and it's a use it or lose it situation. So even if you aren't eligible, like this video so others have a chance at this fun Funding. It'll be great karma for you. The targeted EIDL advance program went into effect nine months ago in December 2020 as part of that relief package. There was some money added to it in the spring relief bill, essentially giving this program $30 billion to give out $10,000 grants. If you met three criteria, if you're in a low income community, you can demonstrate a 30% reduction in revenue from 2019 to 2020. And if you have fewer than 300 employees, those are the three main criteria. And then, of course, there's $5,000 on top of that for supplemental grants. But for this video, I'll focus on the targeted because there's over 3 million yet to go out. And a few days after this funding was approved, we put up a lookup tool on our app to see if you're eligible. The app is HelloSkip in the App Store. So under recommended services, you can click check EIDL grant eligibility, put in your address, founding date, number of employees, and then click add tracker. Then you'll see if your address qualifies or not. Right down at the bottom in this example, your address does not qualify but if you put in an address that does qualify it will tell you yes your address qualifies and you can click the blue button to apply it takes you right to the SBA website you can get the app at trackeidlgrant.com I'll leave the link right in the description quickly check see if you're eligible and even if you're not eligible tell someone else I'm mentioning this now because we've had a quarter million people check their eligibility on our app and we've had thousands refer others every time you refer someone else you get ten dollars for the skip app we have lots of government related services and information you can use that credit for. So if you want to tell someone else, by all means, there's a referral code for you right in the app. Spread the word. Whatever community you're in across the US, chances are there are businesses near you that need the help. Quick addition here, we will pay out in cash if you tell others about this. So when you share your referral code and hit $100 in credits, we'll pay that out in cash. So if you refer 100 people who sign up and then join Skip, you'll get a $1,000 payout. It's a small thing, but just in case some of you out there are connected to communities and want to share this message, by all means, go for it. Of course, subject to the terms and conditions, all of that is on our app. Based on some of our analysis, only around 50% to two thirds of small businesses in the US have gotten help from the SBA. So that means at least a third of all small businesses, if not half, have not taken advantage of SBA resources. The funding that has been allocated by Congress from our tax money to help small businesses survive, stabilize, and grow. So over 25 billion is left for someone, and maybe you can help a friend get 10,000. You can copy your code right here or click invite friends. And here is the actual SBA page, COVID-19 relief .sba.gov. It's fairly straightforward and you can actually complete in about 10 minutes. Of course, read everything carefully and don't rush through it. I've talked about this a lot. Many people in a rush last year or this year made mistakes on this form and because of that, let's say because of revenue discrepancies or they didn't put down the correct ownership information, you've been stuck in a holding pattern for months. Some of you have been stuck for over a year, haven't gotten anything. So be careful when you go through this. You just have to confirm your eligibility, confirm business information, which includes gross revenue from 2019 and cost of goods sold from 2019, then business owner information, some additional information, and that's it. And then put in your business bank account. It should match the name of the business. Then submit and you'll get a confirmation number. So it takes 10 minutes. Now here's why that's so important. I talked about this at the beginning of August. In the new infrastructure bill, the targeted EIDL advance funding will be taken away from the SBA. Here's how it looks in the draft legislation. It basically says $17.5 billion will be permanently rescinded 
from the SBA targeted idle advance program. Now that bill has not been signed into law yet. The infrastructure bill was passed in the Senate back in August. However, Nancy Pelosi has been holding it up in the House because her and others want to bring the infrastructure bill for a vote at the same time as the $3.5 trillion budget resolution. I've talked about that a lot. There's major stuff in there, but Nancy Pelosi right here set a deadline of September 27th for the infrastructure bill. Democrats have had this end of September deadline for both infrastructure and budget resolution, trying to get these approved quickly. However, today on the State of the Union program, representatives Jim Clyburn and John Yarmuth both said that there's a chance Congress will not vote in time to meet the September 27th deadline for the bipartisan infrastructure bill. It's a lot of back and forth now. We do know lawmakers have been talking about that September 27th date to vote on it. And then after it gets approved to be signed into law by the president. And once that happens, that $17.5 billion will be taken away from the targeted idle advance program. So based on the math here, that would leave some money left in the pot of money, but not a lot. Again, these are $10,000 grants. They do not have to be repaid. To be eligible, you have to live in a low-income community. You can take a look on our app to see if you qualify. The SBA also has a lookup tool as well. I'll link to that. You have to have been in business in 2019 or the first couple months of 2020, and basically you have to show 30% revenue decline over an eight week period between 2019 and 2020 and less than 300 employees. So most businesses who are not eligible for this, it is due to the location of your business. So you should check that. And if you see, hey, here's an area that qualifies and you know business in that area, tell that business owner. Or if you know someone that has a side hustle in that area, tell them. Again, tell them you can share your link right from our app. Tell them to go to the grant eligibility tracker on our app, trackeidlgrant.com to check. We'd love to do one final push for this program because look, some of you have known about EIDL grants since last April, April 2020. Some of you have known about targeted grants since December 2020, but many still have not. So spread the word today. Good luck to you. And if you tell a friend and they get a $10,000, hopefully they'll take you out to a nice dinner or send you some food delivery as a thank you. So pay it forward if you're still waiting. We've got big news coming up this week on both of these bills I've just mentioned. More inside information from the SBA on EIDL collateral for 2.0 and other requirements, plus other funding opportunities that I'm going to be announcing this coming week. So be sure to hit subscribe. And if you are applying for an EIDL loan, you want help on reconsideration and increase the new forms, etc. We can help out. Go to eidl.me to find out more. That's eidl.me. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.